good morning all today i am going to explain you an experiment on zener as a voltage regulator here aim of the experiment is to use a zener diode as a voltage regulator this is the zener diode with n region and p region this is the resistor called current limiting resistor this is the variable resistance box which is used as the load resistor this is the power supply and finally this is the multimeter to measure the voltage across the zener diode as you know zener diode is a very simple semiconductor device which can be used as a voltage regulator because it is so designed to be operated under reverse bias under reverse bias the voltage across the diode at the breakdown region remains almost constant therefore a suitable circuit diagram makes it useful as a voltage regulator this is a zener diode with two regions p region and n region this black mark indicates that it is the n region of the diode now if you want to use a zener diode as a voltage regulator it is to be operated under reverse bias so we shall construct a circuit this is the diode to the n region a resistor is connected this resistor is called current limiting resistor the value of this particular resistor is nearly 470 ohms and from this resistor it is connected to the source see this is the power supply variable power supply see if you switch on the circuit and work on the knob you can vary the voltage of the source now if you apply a variable voltage across the diode the voltage across the diode remains almost constant because of its stabilizing action now we will see we will connect the resistor to the power supply like this here i connect positive end of the power supply to the resistor from the resistor it is given to the n region of the diode from p region of the diode i am connecting it to the negative end of the power supply see how the circuit is done from the positive end it is connected to the resistor in this way the resistor is already connected to n region of the diode p region is here it is being connected to the negative end of the power supply now the circuit is almost ready then i take a resistor resistance box this is called variable resistance box initially i introduce a resistance of 5 kilo ohms as the load so it is done like this 1 2 3 4 5 this is 5 now i am connecting the resistance box across the diode it is done like this from this n end of the diode i take the connection and give it to this end of the resistance box from other end of the diode the connection is given to this end of the resistance box and finally this multimeter is connected across the load resistor in this way now the circuit is ready for action now i am setting the supply voltage to 5 volt in this way gradually i work on the knob so that it reads exactly 5 volts 4.7 4.95 now it is 5 now the corresponding output voltage is 4.16 which is the voltage across the load resistor or across the zener diode now i increase the supply voltage to 5.5 volt 5.5 and measure the output voltage now the output voltage is 4.3 volt now the supply voltage is changed to 6 volts gradually 6 output voltage is measured it is 4.44 volt again the voltage is increased to 6.5 volt output voltage is 4.51 volt again the voltage is increased to 7 volt output voltage is measured 4.58 next the voltage is changed to 7.5 volt 7.5 volt 
output is measured 4.63 volt again the voltage is changed to 8 volt 8 volt output remains at 4.67 volt so this is how when you gradually increase the input voltage output voltage remains almost constant in this particular experiment i have changed the input voltage from 5 volt to 8 volt but you see that output remains almost 4 point something so this is how the diode acts as a voltage regulator irrespective of the fluctuations at the input side at the output side it gives almost constant voltage so this is the stabilizing action of the zener diode in the second part of the experiment input voltage is kept constant while the load resistor is varied now see input voltage is 5 volt load resistor is 5 kilo ohm output is 4.16 now i increase the load resistance to 6 kilo ohm for the same input voltage output voltage is measured it is 4.19 for the next trial load resistor is made 7 kilo ohm input voltage is same output is 4.2 so what i do is here gradually the load resistance is changed from say 5 kilo ohm to 10 kilo ohm input is kept constant irrespective of the variation in the load resistor output remains almost constant nearly 4 point something so this is how zener diode shows its stabilizing action under reverse bias